Standard 7, Subject Maths, Chapter 4, Angles and Pairs of Angles. Practice Set 20. Let's learn about vertically opposite angles. In the figure alongside, line PT and line RS intersect each other at point Q. And you can see four angles are formed. Angle PQR, angle RQT, angle SQT and angle PQS. Now, angle PQR is formed by which two rays? Ray QP and ray QR. The ray opposite to ray QP and QR are QT and QS respectively. These opposite rays form the angle SQT. Hence, angle SQT is called the opposite angle of angle PQR. Okay. So, now I know the angle formed by the opposite rays of the arms of an angle is said to be its opposite angle. Now that we have learned about opposite angle, let's learn about the property of vertically opposite angles. Let's learn the property of vertically opposite angles. Look at the figure. Name the angle opposite to angle PQS in the figure. PQS. Opposite angle is angle RQT. Now, let us assume the measures of these angles by denoting them a alphabet. So, let's see as shown in the figure, measure angle PQS is denoted by measure as angle as measurement is A. Okay, measure angle PQS is equal to A. Measure angle SQT is equal to B. Measure angle TQR equals to C and measure angle PQR is equal to D. Okay, we are just assuming this measures of these angles with some alphabet. Now, angle PQS. Look at angle PQS. It is denoted by which measure? A. Alphabet A. And angle SQT, whose measure is B. Are the angles in linear pair? So, using the property of angles in linear pair, what can we write? A plus B is equal to how much? 180 degree. We know angles in linear pair sums up to 180 degree. Okay. Similarly, we can write that major angle SQT plus major angle TQR, they are also two angles in linear pair. Therefore, B plus C is equal to 180 degree. Right? Just as A plus B is 180, B plus C is also 180 because they are also angles in linear pair. Now, we will write, therefore, look at the equation on the left. A plus B is equal to B plus C. How did we get that? Because both are equal to 180. When right hand sides are equal, we can write the left hand sides also equal to each other. Okay. So, B will be subtracted and what remains is A is equal to C. So, look in the figure now. A is equal to C. Means opposite angles are equal. Therefore, angle PQS and angle TQR are congruent angles. Similarly, which two other angles are congruent? Yes, angle PQR is equal to angle SQT. Therefore, angle PQR and angle SQT are congruent angles. Okay, so this is the property of vertically opposite angles. What do you know now? Now I know the vertically opposite angles formed when two lines intersect are of equal measure. So remember, when you see two intersecting lines, the opposite angles are congruent, are equal. 
So this property we are going to use in a practice set 20. So let's solve practice set 20. Question 1. Lines AC and BD intersect at point P. You can see in the figure line AC and line BD intersect at point P. Major angle APD is equal to 47 degree as shown in the figure. Find the majors of angle APB, angle BPC and angle CPD. So other three angles we have to find the major. Can we do that? Yes. First we will find major of angle APB using the property of angles in linear pair with angle APD. And then we will find the remaining two angles by the property of vertically opposite angles. So let's start. In the given figure, angle DPA plus angle APB equals 180 degree. Reason, angles in linear pair or linear pair angles. Therefore, now substitute the value of angle DPA. How much it is shown in figure? 47. So 47 degree plus angle APB which we don't know is equal to 180 degree. Now subtracting 47 we get angle APB is equal to 133 degree. We got angle APB. Now with the help of the property of vertically opposite angles we can now write the measurements of remaining two angles. So look at the working. Now Angle APD is equal to angle BPC is equal to 47 degree. Reason, vertically opposite angles. And angle APB is equal to angle DPC is equal to 133 degree. Reason, vertically opposite angles. Angle APB, we found out the measure above. And now we can write APB equal to DPC is equal to 133. Hence the measures, whatever is asked in question, you are going to answer it, of angle APB, angle BPC, angle CPD are 133 degree, 47 degree and 133 degree respectively. So this way you have completed your first sum. Let's move to second question. Lines PQ and RS intersect at point M. Major angle PMR is equal to X degree. Look at the figure. Line PQ and RS you can see intersecting at which point? Point M. And which measurement is given? Major angle PMR is given X degree. Now question is what are the measures of angle PMS, angle SMQ, and angle QMR. Same like the first sum, we have to find the remaining three measures of the angles. But here, we don't have measure in number, but we have it in alphabet. So we are going to make use of this alphabet X to find out the remaining measures. Okay. What are we going to use? Which property? Yes. First angle PMS we will find by using property of angles in linear pair. And then the remaining two angles using vertically opposite angles property. So have a look at the solution. The figure is drawn alongside in the answer. When you are answering the question in exam or any time, you need not draw the question, come question or the figure. You don't have to draw. It's not compulsory. In any question when it is mentioned, draw the figure. Then only you are supposed to draw it in maths. Okay. Or unless and until you require a rough figure. So let's have a look at the solution. In the given figure, angle RMP plus angle PMS is equal to 180 degree. Reason, linear pair angles. Therefore, now substitute value. RMP is X degree plus angle PMS as it is, is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, now we have to subtract X because we want to find angle PMS. Therefore angle PMS is equal to 180 minus X. So we got angle PMS as 180 minus X. Now we can find the vertically opposite angles. So let's find the measures. 
angle PMR is equal to angle SMQ is equal to X degree. Reason vertically opposite angles. Angle PMS is equal to angle RMQ is equal to 180 minus X. We have found out angle PMS above and RMQ is vertically opposite. So both will measure 180 minus X degree. Reason vertically opposite angles. Hence the measures of now answer according to the question angle PMS, angle SMQ and angle QMR are 180 minus X degree comma X degree and 180 minus X degree respectively. Okay. This way we have finished with question number 2 and practice at 20. Only two questions. So practice them well. Okay. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.